Oh man. I do love this shirt. Master Distiller Stephen Beam, the name behind Limestone Branch Distillery, has released their annual Yellowstone Limited Edition Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey for 2022. Since about 2015, Beam has released this limited edition bourbon annually under the Yellowstone brand, which celebrated its 150th anniversary this year, along with its namesake National Park. No, not the TV show, even though that show was freaking awesome, Beth Dutton, greatest character on TV, but the National Park. <laughs> like all the Yellowstone limited releases, this comes with a bit of a twist, Marsala Superior. What the heck is that? Let's find out. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C. from The Mass Syndrome and welcome back to the show. So Stephen Beam and his brother Paul Beam opened up Limestone Branch Distillery back in 2011. Now, with a history of distilling on both sides of the family, Jim Beam and J.W. Dant, the brothers are actually seventh generation distillers. In 2015, they brought the Yellowstone label back, including Yellowstone Select, Limited Edition, and the Minor Case Rye Whiskey, which I think is a pretty underrated rye whiskey, by the way. But before we try their newest limited edition, let's hear from our rock star of a sponsor. They are back. It's Zbiotics. Yes, today's sponsor is back. It is Zbiotics. Glad so many of you have reached out and given me such great feedback. Zbiotics is a product I've been talking about for the last month or so using it behind the scenes, live streams, barrel picks, and even bottle shares. If you don't know what Zbiotics is quite yet, here are the details. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, a toxic byproduct of alcohol builds up in your belly. It's that byproduct, not dehydration like most people think, that causes you to feel kind of terrible the day after drinking. Zbiotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. So before my Wednesday night live streams and anytime I know I have to taste multiple barrels of cash strength whiskey at Barrel Picks, uh, I take Zbiotics and the next day I feel great, no rough mornings, and it helps me get back into the gym the next day. All you do is drink one of these about an hour before you start drinking and that's it. Of course, you should still drink water like you normally would, but Zbiotics makes it that much easier to feel better the next day. How? It's because Zbiotics is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It's real science that works. No random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, 100% money back guarantee, which is a big deal. Here's how you get it. Get Zbiotics for 15% off with my code below. I recommend getting the six pack. This is what I have right here. They also have a three pack and a 12 pack. I had a bottle share not that long ago. A bunch of buddies came over, I got the 12 pack. They all tried it uh, before we started that night and they felt great the next morning so much in fact they went and bought their own. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box and use code Mash and Drum at checkout or go to zbiotics.com slash Mash and Drum and get 15% off on your first order. Cheers to Zbiotics and to all of you watching for making these sponsors happen. Now go order some. All right guys, so this year's limited edition is a blend of seven year, 15 year, and 16 year bourbon selected by Beam and aged in Marsala Superior casks. Beam use the Marsala Superior cast to finish select barrels of that seven-year-old bourbon that's in there to complement the extra aged bourbons in the blend. All right, so what's Marsala Superior? Well, it's a dry, sweet wine produced near the Italian city of Marsala in Sicily. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's aged at least two years. It's a fortified wine similar to sherry. Uh, Marsala can impart dried fruit, citrus, and is often used in cooking or served as a dessert wine. Now that I say that, chicken marsala sounds kind of good right now. We're gonna make some chicken marsala. I need mushrooms. The newest Yellowstone limited edition for 2022 is bottled at 101 proof and is a limited release at 99 bucks a bottle. Let's do it. Here we go. Now I would assume being that this bourbon is 15 to 16 years old or has some 15 to 16 year old bourbon in the blend that it's sourced from actual, you know, the Jim Beam distillery being that they're, um, you know, it's family. <laughs> I was like, I was like the most godfather thing I've ever said. You know, it's like family. Okay. I do get that Jim Beam nuttiness in here, but I get a lot of honey as well. Not dark honey, more of a like a more of a lighter honey here. Some nice brown sugars. There is a slight dark fruit note. Not really sure what it is. I don't know. I don't know if I would go as far as saying it's a raisin. 
or a cherry, but it's along those lines, that type of a darkness to it. I'm trying to, you know, pick up some of that Marsala finish. Now, generally, these Yellowstone LEs don't have a huge influence from the finish. Um, last year's edition, which uh, was the Amarone cask, uh, the Amarone finish, you know, definitely brought a little bit more of a of a dark fruit characteristic, but I also thought that the whiskey came off a little bit youthful. Now, this one, at least on the nose so far, the whiskey is coming off a little bit older. There's a little bit of like a sweet tobacco note in there, which generally you'll get with a with an older bourbon, but so far, nicely balanced nose. A little bit of, an, of a kind of like a toasted almond kick on there too. There's a nuttiness quality, as you would think with bean, but it's it's almost smoky. It's not it's not just like you know that peanut butter note. It's a little bit more of a smoky a smoky like almond, like a smoked almond. All right, let's give it a go, guys. Cheers. Wow, that came off as like all vanilla honey to me on the palate. A lot of vanilla and honey. Got a nice little spice on the finish. That was the first sip. Let's go for another one here. You know, it has a nice little finish on the end. I actually think that's where all the, the nuance and the flavor is, is actually on the finish. I'm getting some really nice traditional bourbon flavors up front, the caramels, the vanillas, all that stuff that you would normally get. A Little bit of that sweetness there, a little bit of oak char on the sides of your palate. But on the finish is actually where this starts to develop and where you start picking up the dark fruit notes. Like I said, I think it's a, like a little bit of a raisin I'm getting. Some of the sweet tobacco notes, that like smoked almond, that nuttiness to it. This is reminding me of some of those really good Knob Creek picks. You know, from like three or four years ago. It may have been five years ago at this point. You know, they were like, you can find them for 14, 15, 16 years old. They were about $60, $65. They, they were everywhere before they kind of went away. Um, but some of those Knob Creek picks have like this dark fruit note to it. It wasn't just all like that Knob Creek nutty profile to it. It had some development of flavors to it. And this one, I think is bringing some, some nice nuanced flavors. I'm, I'm saying, I, I really think the star of the show here is the finish on this. Yeah, for 101 proof. It's got a nice spice. It keeps hitting the palate. It's not drinking soft. It actually is bringing a lot of flavor each and every sip I go to it. Yeah, the raisin, the sweet tobacco. There's some really like beautiful, like just toasted oak notes I'm getting here on the back of the palate. That honey characteristic is starting to come back too. This is nice. Now, the only hit I would give this is that they don't tell you yeah, they don't tell you how much of the 15, 16, seven year bourbon ratio is. They don't tell you how much 15 year is in it, how much 16 year is in it, and how much seven year. Um, again, with this one, I don't feel like the finish is super influential on the palate. I think you get some of that. I think that's where the honey is coming from, the little hint of dark fruit. It's hard to, it's hard to kind of figure if the like the smoked almond note, the it, like the little bit of like the nuttiness I'm getting on the very back end is is due to the Marsala Superior cask finish as well. I'm just not that, you know, it's not that experience with Marsala Superior, so I really wouldn't know. But you know, and, and on top of that, the beam profile is already inherently a little bit nutty, so it's a little bit hard to kind of distinguish that. The thing I could appreciate about this bottle that I have not gotten from a lot of these limited edition releases that I've been trying lately is that it's consistent. It consistently hits your palate. It's powerful, has a lot of flavor. The flavor just keeps staying. It's all, the, the finish is all here for this one. I'm not gonna say it's not the most viscous bourbon in the world because it is, you know, only 101 proof, but I think it drinks a little bit above that because of the spice and the, um, and that lingering finish on it. All right, last sip. Yeah, so I, I kind of let that sit on my tongue for a little bit here, guys. And what I what I did find was honey. I definitely got like a little bit of a raisin type note there, like honey, raisin, some of the that bean citrus 
that I'm so used to is starting to come through. Some orange peel. And then as it finishes out, you get the spice, a little bit of tobacco. That's a solid bourbon. Finally. Shit. Yellowstone. All right. Let's final break down this one. I still think I have some thoughts on this one. All right, guys. Final breakdown on the Yellowstone Limited Edition 2022. Finished in Marsala Superior casks. Um, price. 100 bucks. 100 bucks for this bottle. Uh, secondary market value, I don't really think I've seen these that much on secondary, uh, so I'll kind of leave that blank for a little bit. Availability, obviously it's limited edition, but, you know, I've, I've gone to a good amount of places. Now, I'm not going to say here, because here where I am in Ohio, everything limited sells like that, but other places I've gone to, especially Kentucky, even going to actual Lime Branch Distillery, these are hanging around on the shelf, so... Availability is limited, but I still feel like if you try, you could probably find that. All right, so value for this one. Value for this one, I mean, I feel like it's a little tricky, but maybe it's not. I mean, I'm just coming off reviewing Little Book where Jim Beam has asked you to pay 125 bucks for a blend of four-year-old malt with different, you know, smoke finishes on it and a five-year-old bourbon mixed in there, whereas this is a blend of 15 and 16-year-old bourbon and seven-year-old seven -year bourbon finish in Marsala Superior. So you have 15, you have 16, you have probably a little bit of an expensive finish on there uh, with the Marsala casks, and then they're asking you to pay 100 bucks. I mean, when you compare the two, it's not even close. So when you're kind of looking at that, I still feel like for 15, 16-year-old whiskey in this with seven-year-old, even though you don't know the proportions, I think not knowing the proportions keeps me from saying it's a great value to, I'm gonna say it's above average. Uh, the most I paid for this, I'm not going to go over retail for this. I think 100 bucks is is perfect. It's right where it should be. I feel like it's got enough flavor. It's got enough nuance and some nice balance that I think 100 bucks works. See, I mean, again, it's not barrel proof. It's not like this high octane, which I think is what most whiskey enthusiasts like. But man, this is just a really good sipping bourbon, especially with those extra flavors from the Madeira coming in. And then you just have just like that nice base of older aged bourbon that really balance well together in this bottle. Is this a recommend? <laughs> it's hard for me not to say like, yes, get this one because I've been disappointed so much lately. And this one is actually kind of bringing some great flavors to me. So, you know, for me, it's not coming off as youthful as last year's. I feel like there might be more uh, of the older whiskey, the older bourbon in this blend. And I'm really enjoying this one. I, I think the best part of this whiskey is the finish. And I think for those of you that get it, we'll definitely agree. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this review on the Master and Drum for the new Yellowstone 2022 Limited Edition. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. I've had this bottle for a little bit. I've been letting it open up to see if some of those finishing flavors come out. I think it has a little bit. Let me know down in the comments if it has for you. Uh, if you got a bottle, and as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers. See you next time right here. I'm a mash and drum. Take care, folks.